Hi. A few months ago, we announced an exciting contest, the Spot Bellini Contest. What you had to do was draw a picture of where you saw Bellini in our skit show. <laughs> there it was. Thousands entered, but only one can win. Sort of like the sperm going upstream in an attempt to fertilize the egg. Enough about me. What the winner got was to have breakfast with Bellini at his or her local airport. And we documented this with a still camera. Now, to enhance the presentation, we're using Bellini's favorite music, which is, of course, improvisational xylophone music. <laughs> and now, the exciting conclusion. <laughs> there he is, Bellini. Bellini wings into our winter city, our nation's capital, Ottawa. As Bellini travels through the air, he contemplates the winner and what he must look like. <laughs> Bellini arrives and is greeted by one of Canada's finest. You're coming with me, jokes the Mountie. Seriously, sir, it's a pleasure. And before you know it, Bellini meets the winner. Let's eat, urges the winner. Not so fast, motions Bellini. We've forgotten one thing. There's my prize, says the winner. There's my all-Canadian breakfast and fish for Bellini, because I know that's all he eats. Not so fast, urges the airport chef. And the fish is deboned. They dig in. The meal is a cult success, much like our show. Suddenly, a tense moment. An argument over table manners. <laughs> oh, I see your point, says the contest winner. And they laugh uproariously like two children drunk on Dad's beer. But all good things must come to an end. See, although Bellini understands many languages, the one word he has trouble with is goodbye. Bye, Bellini, said the contest winner. Every time I see a man in a towel at the airport eating fish, I'll think of you. Goodbye, Bellini. Bye, Bellini. Bye. I'll never forget you, says the contest winner. <laughs>